As we're on the brink of what appears to be a major war with uh, Russia, maybe other allies as well. Um, everyone is responding about what we should do, what we could have done, what's going to happen. And exactly whether or not Donald Trump would have been better in this particular situation. Uh, one person that's definitely talking about that is Donald Trump. So there's a couple regions here that he has, uh, Putin has determined and has announced are separate from Ukraine. And he has this opportunity to then step in and do his thing. So these two regions are Luhansk and Donetsk, if I said those right. So President Vladimir Putin ordered troops into two Russia-backed separatist territories in Ukraine and hinted at the possibility of a wider military campaign and laid claim to all of Ukraine as a country, quote, created by Russia in an emotional and aggrieved address to the Russian people. Russian state television then showed Mr. Putin signing decrees late Monday recognizing the so-called Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics and directed the Russian Defense Ministry to deploy troops in those regions to carry out quote, peacekeeping functions. Now, this is where the read then comes into whether or not these are peacekeeping functions or whether or not this is an invasion, a coordinated invasion. Also because of all the moves they're making along the border and everyone was just watching to see what would happen next. So now we've gotten to the point where people are starting to figure out which one of these folks would have done this the right way. And it's all based in US politics. So let's watch what Trump had to say on the Clay Travis and Buck Sexton show. Today, and there was a television screen, and I said, this is genius. Putin declares a big portion of the Ukraine, of Ukraine. Putin declares it as independent. Oh, That's wonderful, so Putin is now saying it's independent, a large section of Ukraine. I said, how smart is that? And he's gonna go in and be a peacekeeper. That's the strongest peace force. We could use that on our southern border. That's the strongest peace force I've ever seen. There were more army tanks than I've ever seen. They're gonna keep peace all right. No, but think of it, here's a guy who's very savvy. I know him very well, very, very well. But here's a guy that says, you know, uh, I'm gonna declare a big portion of Ukraine independent, he used the word independent. And we're gonna go out and we're gonna go in and we're gonna help keep peace. You gotta say that's pretty savvy. And you know what the response was from Biden? There was no response. They didn't have one for that. Now it's very sad. So the discussion there was very much on brand for Trump, uh, praising other world leaders and making sure that he points out how strong and savvy and genius. And this peacekeeping force is truly a peacekeeping force. More language that is against what many military leaders and also uh, other leaders in America are saying about the situation. Um, so once that came up, there has to be some defense for once people wonder, why is Donald Trump praising Vladimir Putin as he's doing these very risky and nefarious moves in other countries. Uh, so let's start with uh, Pete Hegseth, how he twists himself in knots to defend Trump in this language. The, the Vladimir Putin lives rent free in the minds of our media, of the American media. No, no organism, no entity has done more to spread Russian propaganda and to prop <laughs> up the straw man that is Vladimir Putin than our very own media. Uh, and Donald Trump was happy to troll them on it as he continues to do to this moment because they can't resist it and they'll, they'll obsess over it. But when they, they know at the end of the day, when you look at the facts, you know, you know, remember CNN like to talk about an app as an apple. Right. If you look at the facts, the reality is under the weakness of Obama and Biden, Vladimir Putin took advantage. And he saw a peer in Donald Trump who was unpredictable and willing to defend American interests. And he backed away from that. All right. All right, sure, whatever. Yeah. Eric Bowling had his chance on Newsmax as well. Let's go to Eric Bowling defending Trump here. Let me just show you guys this handshake, and this one stuck out for me because this is a this is a President Trump who who is an alpha male when it comes to it. He grabs Putin and pulls him in. Now, I, Rick, I I'm not a body language expert, but I will tell you as as man to man, when someone does that to me, this guy is trying to show dominance over me, and he clearly Putin was the was the beta male in that room at that moment, Rick. There was this one last instance where Donald Trump was the beta male in the room. First off, a handshake is the reason why that a total invasion in another country would have been prevented. Somehow we believe that. But either way, let's go back to this flashback from when Trump was actually the president and he did have an interaction with Vladimir Putin. And who was the beta male in this room? And frankly, I'm gonna let the president speak to the second part of your question. 
But uh, just to say it one time again, and I say it all the time, uh, there was no collusion. I didn't know the president. Uh, there was nobody to collude with. There was no collusion with the campaign. And every time you hear all of these, you know, 12 and 14, it's stuff that has nothing to do. And frankly, they admit these are not people involved in the campaign. But to the average reader out there, they're saying, well, maybe that does. It doesn't. Uh, and even the people involved, some perhaps told missed stories, although in one case the FBI said there was no lie. There was no lie. Somebody else said there was. Uh. That was the Helsinki summit where uh, he embarrassed himself in front of Vladimir Putin and, and continued to talk about how he believes Russian uh, Putin over American intelligence in every little situation. So when it comes to weakness, he already showed us that. But Jackson, this is where I think it becomes this linear one one track mind when it comes to Americans, whatever side of the aisle it is, it's everything that's happening over there has to do with our elections, American presidents only. I yes, feel like we need to realize how much separate this is. Yeah, and I think that that was that was a perfect segue because you know Trump's relationship with Putin or any president's relationship with Putin doesn't have anything to do with Putin's will to restore Russia to its former glory or just Russia's will. You know, the government itself to become the Soviet Union again as much as it can, because people really don't understand that from World War II up until the early 90s, much of, you know, the Cold War, much of world conflict was literally between the United States and Russia's influence on the rest of the world. That's really what it was. And so Putin wants Ukraine. This has nothing to do with if Putin likes Donald Trump. And actually, further on in this interview that, that didn't get played, um, Buck Sexton asked him, what went wrong here? And Trump said, well, the election was rigged. That's what went wrong here. Absolutely. Again, of course, which of course is hilarious about the whole alpha male thing, because you know a strong man, a strong person takes the hard road when it's necessary. Trump still can't admit that he lost the election. Nothing he does is the hard road. Yeah, you know, so. it's, it's, it's the way he approaches all this stuff. Yeah, and, and you know what? And I think the pundits and, and the, the support of politicians are seeing that and they're like, we have to keep this thing going because anything Trump says, we have to continue to go with. Now, in any other instance, if Donald Trump was just another citizen who didn't just lose an election, they'd be like, oh, Donald Trump talking again. But yeah. they have to follow him now because now they've hitched their wagons to him. And there's the clownish defenses that all come with it. So, um, what we'll. we'll We'll see where this goes, but um, I have a feeling that they're gonna go with it as long as he will, which is endless and it's all about him. So you yeah. can beat that if you want.